again, remember, Mattel, I think, uh, really was a, a girl toys company, predominantly. Uh, girl toys and matchbox cars was what uh, Mattel was all about back then. And again, remember now, this is the company that makes WWE action figures to this day. But we're going to see, we'll, we'll go through it a little quicker than we did last time. Uh, we're going to see a lot of Barbie, a lot of Mattel, and then a couple of really fun uh, boy toy lines um, that uh, I had and have and forgot about and all sorts of fun stuff. So let's do that now. Let's see if I can... Oh, I got to flip this around. How am I going to do that? I can't flip it around. That's a nice shot of, of my nose. How about that? Yeah. All right, let's try to flip this thing around. All right, here we go. Start things off again with Barbie, obviously. Uh, yeah, just your standard Barbie. More Barbies. Does that say the Barbie... Oh, the, the Perfume Pretty Barbie. Okay, so we got some scented Barbies. So the bar, if you, you know, I'm sure that these smelled like people's grandmothers with the uh, 1988 perfume, which probably wasn't all that pleasant. What on earth are these? Perfume Pretty Barbie Jewelry for two. Okay, so these must be like jewelry sets. Uh, looks like, what is that? Is that perfume or shampoo? I don't know. So like little accessories, I guess jewelry for two i assume that the barbie can wear it and then you can wear it uh looks like saved by the bell barbie i love this <laughs> i don't think it is saved by the bell but that's the first thing that jumped out at me barbie and the sensations it says new tv advertising barbie dolls started a new group with a hip 80s sound and a cool new 50s look okay so is this not Barbie and the Rockers anymore? This is Barbie and the Sensations. They're doing a... Fi I don't remember this. Why would I, I guess? I don't like that glare. Anyway, I thought this was like Saved by the Bell. Oh, more Barbie and the Sensation stuff. All right, so I dig it. It's it's Barbie and the Rockers was like, you know, 80s rock. And now we've got Barbie and the Sensations doing 50s style stuff. I dig I like that, that car jukebox. That's cool. All right. I like Barbie and the Sensations. Little poodle skirt there. Cool 50s vibe. I dig. I dig. All right. We got Jungle Barbie, apparently. What is this called? Island Fun Barbie. Yeah, I'm going to be, uh, my nose is going to be running all over this. But good thing, good thing you're not looking at me. Because I wipe my nose every 30 seconds. Island Fun Barbie. Again, down here it says new TV advertising, whatever that means. I wonder if this says, uh, or wonder if this means that these items have commercials. Because remember, these catalogs are from like trade shows or, or, you know, big toy company get togethers. All right. Uh, Island Fun Ken, Island Fun Teresa, Ivan Fun, Island Fun Steven. Very cool. All right, then we have, this is, I, I believe, and, uh, you know, this is when, you know, they started to realize that not all women were going to cook for their mans their whole life and stay home and make beds. So they're saying, hey, ladies, you too can be a doctor. This is good. It's not Nurse Barbie. No, it's not Nurse. Well, there is Nurse Barbie. But it's not Nurse Barbie, it's Dr. Barbie. Okay, all you chauvinistic men out there. Mattel wasn't having it. Barbie wasn't having it anymore. She wasn't going to be serving Ken anymore. She was going to be a doctor. Skipper. Uh, what's, what was the deal with Skipper? Was she Barbie's friend? Uh, she's a kid. She's younger than Barbie. So, was it like Barbie's little cousin? I don't know. Cheerleader teen, workout teen, party teen. Oh, boy. Hmm. Yeah. Don't type that into Google, kids. Don't 
Don't type cheerleader teen into Google. You'll be you'll get a knock on your door pretty soon. Uh, I don't know. What is this? More teen fun skipper. All right. I don't know. This is making me uncomfortable for some reason. What do we have here? California Dream Barbie. All right. They're, they're walking on the boardwalk. They have roller skates. I'm sure they got to have roller skates. Yeah, they got roller skates there. Is this when roller blades started coming out? 1988? I don't know. More California Barbie. These are the different outfits, the fashions. The bare midriff. Cool. All right. Right on. More surfing Barbie. Oh, a hot dog stand. That's cool. I always used to just like the, you know, like the sets. The hot dog stand, the surf shop. You know, I'm telling you, look, we had a great time as fellas. We certainly did. Our toys were great. But imagine being like a 10-year-old girl and really being into this stuff and having just like a lunatic parent like me who buys their kids everything. Like they would have, if I had girls and they were into Barbie... They'd have this whole world, you know, this whole setup. And then what do you do? You just walk around and you're like, hey, you want to have a hot dog? Yeah, all right, let's sit down. And then what? Then you're just, mmm, the hot dog's good. But then what? Like, what do you, how do you play? What do you do? I'm, I'm sure that Lisa enormous response is going to uh, tell us, how do you play with Barbies? What do you do? Like with wrestlers, you fight. G.I. Joe's, you just kill. What do Barbies do? They just sit and talk. Just weird. That's not weird, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's weird. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not a girl. Uh, all right. Barbie fashion. Barbie magic. Barbie not dressed. That's... You should turn the page. More Barbie fashion stuff. All right. Ooh, Barbie night. Look at Ken. Look at Ken. Rocking those sweaters. Man, they are ready for a night on the town. Ken Sweater Soft is the name of the... <laughs> and then we have Barbie Sweater Soft, but who cares? Look at Ken. <laughs> sweater Soft Barbie is this brand. They all come with soft pants. And Ken is rocking the Bill Cosby sweaters. I love it. Whoa. Whoa, somebody's going to throw red paint on her. The fur coat Barbie, look out. Look out for the, those PETA advocates. All right, uh, looks like a wedding day Barbie. I wonder if we're going to have divorce Barbie. Because you know that's coming. Barbie pet show fashions. What is Ken doing? Is that a bathrobe? Look at that hair. Wow. There's horse Barbie. Barbie blinking beauty. Oh, the horse blinks. Oh, how what a what a must have feature. The horse blinks when you pull its tail. I don't know, when you mess with its hoof, it blinks. I say if it, if you mess with its hoof, he kicks you right in the head. Right? Isn't that what a horse does? Don't go grabbing that. What are you crazy? Don't grab that horse's hoof. You're going to blink. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Get the glare off there. The Barbie digital watches. Those are cool. I've not gone through this at all. All first timer here. Got the Barbie Corvette. I got the Barbie ice cream shop. I think this makes real ice cream. I'm pretty sure that this makes... Yeah, dolls and ice cream ingredients not get off the glare. Not included. All right, so I think I think my sisters had this. I feel like they had this. And you just put a bunch of ice or whatever, milk, I don't know. And you just stir it up for an hour and you make, you know, ice cream of some kind. Oh, this is nice. Look at that apartment. That's screaming the 90s are coming. The 90s are right around the corner, folks. Sweet Roses Barbie Furniture. Yeah, again, I would have loved, loved to have been like a girl and into Barbies. 
Because look at this. I mean, there's so much. I would just sit and like set up the furniture. Because then what do you do? Again, Lisa E., what do you do? You, okay, so Barbie's... Oh, man, what is Barbie wearing? She's wearing, like... Is that for Ken? Is Ken coming home? Is this their anniversary? I bet you this is their anniversary. Because Barbie is wearing something. I don't know. Maybe Ken's into role play. I'm not sure. You know I'm going to dirty this up. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. All right. That's it. Barbie getting ready for bed. The giant hair. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. Ken's knocking on the door. Let me in, Barbie. Oh, man. Look at that house. That is insane. My sisters absolutely had either this... No, they had this. They had this, because... Oh, what am I doing? Because th those... Uh, this is an awful set. It's it's literally plastic uh, legs, dowels, that just go through cardboard. Kind of like those plastic shelves you put together. You know, like those $30 cheap white or black plastic shelves where you just put the... You just put the, the the legs into each part of the table and then stack, you know, you stack them. That's the exact same thing this is. You you just piece it all together. And it's just one big giant piece of cardboard. But they are huge. Those are massive. My sister's had this for sure. You know why I remember? So this like this brought back a ton of memories. This little uh, entertainment set here. My sister's definitely had this. The elevator that we could never, like, keep strung up. Oh, God. Yeah, you gotta pull the... Where am I? You gotta pull a little cord here. I remember this. We had this. There's absolutely no room in this thing for furniture. None. Look, you want a full... You get the full kitchen set, right? You get it for Christmas. You get the, you get the fridge and the stove. And guess what? It's not gonna fit. Look, all that fits in there is the table. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Now, it would fit in something like this, I assume. This massive dream house. Yeah, those are nice. All right. Where are we here? Of course, we're still... Oh, the Hart family. We've gotten off of Barbie. Uh, we had these two. I don't know. <sighs> well, maybe not. Maybe not. I thought I had a lot of memory flooding back with this. But the Hart family, you know... The Barbie knockoff, maybe. Or maybe it wasn't even a knockoff. Maybe it was like its own thing. You know, you got the family, the kids. Those are cool. The Hart family. More Hart family stuff. More Hart family. Yeah, this is like Barbie light. Probably a little cheaper. The camper set. The car. You know the car is cheaper. I mean, look at that. It's a pull-along pop-up camper. That's cool. You got the kids, the play sets, the swing sets. It's not bad. It's not bad. More Hart family stuff. Nope, this is Lady Lovely Locks. Sorry. Lady Lovely Locks. <laughs> Just that flowing hair that the kid will cut two days after Christmas and then cry and... My sister's always used to cut the doll's hair. What are these? Oh, these are friends of Lady Lovely Locks. Hide and Peaks. All right, Hide and Peaks. Friends of Lady Lovely Locks. Baby Dragons. Baby Dragons and Silky Pups. What are these? Kind of like a My Little Pony sort of thing. Baby Dragons. All right, so they're dragons, I guess, with hair. And then this is Silky Mane. Oh, I don't know. What do we got? Sea Magic. Oh, th this is all still Lady Lovely Locks. All right, so these are Lady Lovely Lock pets or whatever. We got more Lady Lovely Locks. <laughs> all right. 
the Lady Lovely Locks Castle. Castle Lovely Locks. Oh, look, you get to put her hair up there. All of her, like, hair extensions. Man, like a whole toy line centered around hair. Look at this kid's hair. Man. Baby Heather. All right. Baby Heather. It says Cuckoo. Mommy Let's Play. Hold Me. Mm -hmm. She looks at you when you speak to her. Oh, that's great. Her eyes open and close. Yeah. And her mouth moves as she talks. Oh, fine. Baby Heather. All right. Good luck with those nightmares. Whoa. That's an that's kind of an ugly doll. Hot looks. Wasn't this a clothing brand? Hot looks? I don't know. It kind of looks like the Hot Topic logo. All right, what is it? Uh, meet the Hot Looks models. They've come from all over the world to be top fashion models at the Hot Looks Modeling Agency. Oh, okay. So now we're taking girls out of the kitchen, making them doctors, but also reminding them that they can be models. All right. All right. The Hot Looks toy line. More Hot Looks. More hot looks. All right, so they're just like fashion dolls, kind of like Bratz. Maybe Bratz dolls. And guys, look, you can kind of see some stuff happening here. You know, this is 88. We're two years away from 90. We're two years away from things changing. And the toys are changing. You know, the dolls are, are the dolls have attitude. You know, the music is changing in 88. You got Hammer coming in and ruining everything, MC Hammer. And now the dolls are like, you know, yeah, yeah, we're, we're hip, we're fashionable, we got attitude, things are changing. You can just tell, right here, you can just tell. This picture tells you that the 90s are coming, that the innocence of the 80s is almost over. That's right. This is the precursor to Bratz dolls, I'm telling you. And Bratz dolls ruined everything. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Kids with attitudes are coming. All right. We wild things again. The pat, the you know the pastelli colors of, of the '90s are coming. The attitude is changing. This is this is interesting. I, I don't remember any of this stuff. We wild things, little dolls, little miniature dolls, with almost like tr kind of trolly, almost troll dolls. Oh, they're real small, it looks like. They're probably tiny. Wee Wild Things. Accessories for Wee Wild Things. Popples. Yes, indeed. Loved some popples. I have a popple. I don't think my popple is on here, though. I don't think it is. I don't see it. But yeah, popples are great. You fold them up into a ball, right? throw them around, and then unfold them. And he's a cute little stuffed animal. Popples. And I'm sure they had some... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the cheerleaders. Yeah, they had sports. Like, you know, this one turns into a basketball player, you know, soccer player. Very cool. I, I love them. Popples was a must-have in my collection. And I didn't get one for a while. Like, I got one recently. I think this is the one I have. I think I have this one. I'd have to find my popple. It stayed out. Obviously, it made the cut. Yeah, I have that one. I'm looking right at it. Pink ear, blue ear, I'm looking right at it. It's, in the, it's over there. It's, it's in that shelf. I have this one. I have puffball popple. What is this? Mattel Creative Activities. So this is like maybe sciencey stuff. Slime. You know, this this oozy, gooey stuff is starting to become popular. You know, the Nickelodeon slime deal. Don't remember this. 
What are these? Cool shades. Okay. Yeah, see, look what's coming, guys. I don't like this. I don't like it. The attitudes are changing. The hip and cool kids are coming. You know, girl, I don't know. The looks are changing. Innocence is dying, kids. And you know that innocence is dying when you can make your own sunglasses with a cheeseburger and french fries. Nothing says juvenile delinquency and teenage pregnancy like these, right? <laughs> Am I overreacting? I just see changes. What are these? Hooks? I don't remember these. All right, so I'm guessing animals, stuffed animals with like stretchy, not stretchy, but like bendable limbs that you could obviously do things with stretch and hooks they're called all right all right you gotta have little hooks of course you can't just you gotta capitalize on the entire line little hooks uh mattel games what is this wet head wet head and air head so these are kind of like I guess, board game-ish stuff, but, like, take it outside. I don't know. Wethead looks fun. Like a summer game. All right. Wethead and Airhead, it's called. And then we have Whack Attack. I do not remember any of these. Whack Attack. So it's almost like a whack-a-mole type game. The smash hit race against time players race to whack five crazy critters down as soon as they pop up. All right. So it's like whack-a-mole. I do not remember this at all. What do we have here? Lie detector and the monster... Oh, the mad scientist monster lab escape. All right. Lie detector is a game. Cool. And then the mad scientist board game. I dig. Cathedral. That's for smart kids. That's your RPG game right there. Probably not, but, you know. Oh, yeah. The strategic battle for the medieval city. I'm out. I'm out. And you know what's funny? He's playing with his dad. He's not playing with his mom. Mom can't figure out cathedral. But dad. Dad, the, uh you know, advertising executive at the office. He goes to the office. He can figure it out. Wait for me, son. I'll play. Leave mom alone. She's playing Connect Four. Force field. You'll enjoy hours of mind-bending fascination with this highly charged challenge of mind over matter. Okay. Force field from Mattel. And then we get into what we are used to seeing from, from old Mattel. The Hot Wheels. The 20th anniversary set, looks like. All right. I dig. More cars. Color racers. I think if they get wet... Oh, no, wait. What does it say? Check out these Hot Wheels cars. Now you can paint your cars like magic. Yeah, just dip your color racer into icy cold or warm water and watch the color change. That's cool. I remember those. Then you have some cool classics. Some Hot Wheels classics. I, I loved the color changers. Just cars. Nothing special. No gimmick. Just cars. Speed Fleet. Maybe they had faster wheels. Speed Demons. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Yeah, just their, just their line. Just more Matchbox cars for 1988. Got the military cars. I'm calling that the A-Team van. They're calling it the Baja Breaker. The Scrambler. The Quad. Hey, I dig. Matchbox, Matchbox, Matchbox. And these are Stunt Rats. All right, so they probably do some stuff. They probably flip and turn. Sight and Smash, the windshield mirror, pulls kids in the driver's seat. 
Hot Wheels cars fits inside the hood. Huh? That? Oh, all right. You put the Hot Wheel car in the hood, you probably bang on a handle. The hood opens up, the car goes flying out and smashes through some bricks. I dig. That's just a, uh, basically your hand. This probably just pushes the car, you know? So if your hand didn't work, or if you were just lazy, you could just pull this trigger and there goes the car. Yes, of course, our city sets. I love these. Snowy one, Alpine Mountain Adventure, all right. I mean, if you basically come off here, down the mountain, you're dead. This guy's dead. He's not gonna make it. This is a torn page. We gotta be careful. Oh, we have a couple torn pages. Ah, the famous, I had this. I probably still do. I have one of these. This was the one I had. I loved it. You gotta, you gotta like, you gotta like, this folds into that, that folds into that, and then it crushes down. I, I would truly play with these for hours, and I don't know how. I don't know how. I would stay interested in these for so long, but I did. I didn't have any of the... I was never into construction stuff or military stuff. The mini market. The drive and eat. Like, again, what do you do? I don't remember. You just pull up the car to the, di to the, to the diner, and then what do you do? You pretend to eat? And then you drive away again? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to, what, did, what do you do with that stuff? Uh, all right. Fred the Head Creature. This glare is awful. Fred the Head. What is Fred the Head? I don't know. Just like a gross out toy? You get it, you get it, you get to its brain? I don't know. He talks. Okay, let me move this crap. Uh, all right, focus. Come on. Let's get our focus. Come on, focus. All right, I think we're getting out of focus for some reason. I don't know why. Hang on. Phone, phone not focusing. All right, come on. All right. There we go. Fearsome face-off playset. Mad scientist stuff. Always, always a fun line. Uh, Liam has a friend whose dad is kind of nuts like me. And he's totally into the uh, mad scientist line. He's got a ton of stuff. Splatters creatures. My guess is that you fill them up with goo. Oh, look at this. You fill them up with goo, and then you kill them. And they they explode. That's actually pretty awesome. You fill them up. You smash them. And then you have a dead roadkill carcass all over the place. The Eyeball Maker. Kids can mold and launch gruesome, gross eyeballs. <laughs> okay. That's great. I love it. Time Freak Watches. I dig. Yeah, just more mad scientist stuff. This kid is always... This kid was from uh, um, Return of Living Dead Part 2. Remember? This is your boy from Return of the Living Dead Part 2. And he's on the box, I think, of, of uh, Mad Scientist stuff. I think. Glowing glop. Captain Power, I never understood what Captain Power was. Um, I think it's some kind of interactive thing where you somehow somehow interact with the TV. But yeah, I don't... 
I don't remember Captain Power. I mean, I remember it. I never had it. So these are all the Captain Power guys, I guess. Sure. Yeah, just not anything I would have been interested in. Uh, is this still Captain Power? I think so. Maybe. So Mattel put it all in on Captain Power. Yeah, it is still Captain Power. So they were probably like, yeah, this is it. This is the revolution. You can interact with the television. And that was the whole deal, I think. Light, you know, infrareds and stuff. Yeah, look. It's kind of like a laser tag thing. You, you, you shoot the bad guy. I don't know. Was there a was there like an indicator that went off if you hit if you hit your target? But that's that's it for boy toys. Captain Power just dominates the rest of the that's it. Dominates the rest of the catalog in 1988. All right, this is a different one, I think. No, it's all still Captain Power. All right, so there you go. That's what they're banking on. In 1988, it looks like their entire boys line. And there's the interactive tapes. There you go. These guys are firing at the TV. This is what they're counting on because that's it. That's it. That's your... Uh... Why am I not focusing? I don't know. I know why. Now I know why. I had the wrong setting on. That's lovely. Hopefully this was good enough for you guys. I, I realized that I was on a different uh, a different lens. So there you go. The 1983, the 1988 Mattel toy catalog. Uh, heavily, heavily banking on Mad Scientist and Captain Power for the boys on the boys' side of things. And it didn't work with me. I had no interest in Captain Power. Did you? What was it? Do explain. All right, everybody. We're out of here. Uh, present company catalog tomorrow. We'll go through that, too. Good night now.